Hey guys, it's Courtney. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing another product updates video and I think this might be my fourth one. I love filming these videos and watching them of course because it shows how much use someone gets out of a product from like a certain haul or something like that. But today I'm actually going over my I'm on a no buy updates and I know it sounds bad that I actually had stuff from the I'm on a no buy updates but a lot of the things were gifted to me from like friends or family in these updates. Like not a whole lot of stuff. It's just like one or two things per month maybe and then I would repurchase something if I needed it. So I have some things to share with you guys and I'm really excited to so I'm just going to get started and share with you the products I still have but I'm also going to mention the products that I've used up. For my hashtag I'm on a no buy update for January I used up the Bath & Body Works Endless Weekend Travel Size Body Lotion, the Bath & Body Works Wild Madagascar Vanilla Travel Size Body Lotion and a Revlon Color Safe Foundation. For my no buy update for February, I used up the Beautiful Day Travel Size Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works, the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Tropical Mango, the Garnier Fructis Instant Body Fire Dry Shampoo, and a Maybelline Cherry Me Baby Lips, even though I'm going to share with you another one that I have. I got another one and I think in like May or something. So I actually still have three things from this update. I was going on a trip for one of the organizations that I'm in in high school and my mom said she'd pay for it but she would just pay me back so I just paid for it. So I just told her that I really wanted this palette and it was actually half the price so she made a better deal out of it but I really wanted this palette regardless. So I got the Lorac behind the scenes eyeshadow primer with my Lorac unzipped gold palette. So this is the primer that came with this palette in a set right here and I'm actually panning this. This is actually a really nice eye primer but Eye primers are eye primers to me, like they don't really seem to differ a lot from each other. I've used the Urban Decay one, the e.l.f. one, the Too Faced one. So I think this is a great primer, but I wouldn't fork out the money for a full size of it when I could just get the e.l.f. one for a dollar that works just as well. And then this palette I am in love with. This is L Lorac Unzipped Gold Palette and mine's disgusting, so sorry about that. I actually have a review on this so I will link that down below and one of the eyeshadows f fell out when I was on vacation because I dropped my palette and it was the one color I didn't like. This was like a dark brown shade with some purpley shimmers in it and I just didn't like it because it looked black on my eyes. But as you can see the colors are absolutely beautiful and I've even hit pan on one of the eyeshadows as well. So. They are awesome quality. I'm going to link the video down below where I have my review so you can see swatches because I don't feel like swatching this if I already have a review on it. But the colors are absolutely beautiful and pigmented and blend beautifully and I definitely recommend this palette. And it actually has a decent mirror with it as well. So sorry to blind you but that's what it looks like. Next thing I have from my hashtag I'm going to know by update for February. My sister's friend gave her this Maybelline Define a Brow Pencil and she doesn't fill in her eyebrows. She only wears minimal makeup. So this is what the pencil looks like. I'm panning this in my Project Pan Roulette right now. And it is just a decent eyebrow pencil. I'm not in love with it but I don't hate it. So that's what the color looks like. And it has a little tip right here. So this works fine and I don't really like draw in my eyebrows. I fill them in lightly with this and then top it with a powder and a brow gel. So I don't really have a major use for this. I'm just trying to use it up. But it is fine and I know a lot of people do love it. And as for my hashtag I want to know by update for March. I used up a NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray but I also have repurchased it a million times. So I'm also going to talk about that. The Philosophy Sugary Cinnamon Icing Body Lotion, I used that up and then I actually decluttered a L'Oreal Infallible in Bronze Taupe because I had very similar colors so I just passed it on because I didn't really wear it all the time. But I still have this L'Oreal Iced Latte Infallible eyeshadow and a lot of these things were actually gifted to me from Megan because she just wasn't using them. So this is what the color looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm actually using this as a face highlight today and I love using this as a face highlight. I actually prefer using it as a face highlight over an eyeshadow even though it is gorgeous as an eyeshadow. These eyeshadows are amazing and how many times can I say eyeshadow? But that's what it looks like on my finger. It is super pigmented and buttery and it's just gorgeous. So this 
color is a dupe for a lot of champagne shadows in like the high-end world and drugstore world so it's not a very unique shade but it is beautiful and I'm very happy I have it. I definitely got a lot of use out of this and I just can't stop staring at my hand it is just a gorgeous color so if you have this definitely try using it as a face highlight and it's just gorgeous and I love it and speaking of the NYX Dewey Finish Setting Spray that I previously mentioned that I used up this is like my fourth or fifth bottle of this I recently repurchased another one and I love this dewy finish setting spray. It definitely gives a nice glow to your skin without breaking down your makeup and it works really well. I think it's about $8 at Ulta and I do go through this fairly fast. It takes me about two months but that's if I use it like before I set my powder and then after I set my makeup and then throughout the day several times. So I think this might take me longer because I decided that I don't really need to do it before my powder because it still looks fine regardless. So this will probably last me a little bit longer, but I definitely recommend it. I haven't tried the matte one, but I'm sure that one works nicely as well and it's a nice drugstore option for a setting spray. And then Meg was also awesome to give me one of her favorite brushes. This is this this is the Sephora Crease Shadow Brush in the 73 and it has a nice taper to it. It's not as fluffy as a Sigma E40, but it definitely has a little bit of a point to it so you can precisely put this into your crease but blend it out at the same time. I use this brush a lot. I'm really weird, but I actually mostly use this for cool tone shadows. I don't know why, but I use my Sigma E25 for warm tones. So, I mean, obviously you can use it for both, but I'm just weird and do it like that. But this is a really nice brush and I love it, but sometimes I think it takes a little bit more work to blend it out. It just depends on the day, honestly, but this is a nice brush and I forget how much it is. It's probably between $10 and $20, but this is a really nice option if you want a blending brush. In my no buy update for April, I used up the Victoria's Secret Hot Crush Body Mist. I decluttered the Mango Sunrise Chapstick when I was sick because I was like disgustingly sick and I didn't feel like it was... Sanitary to use that lip balm anymore, so I just tossed it, and I actually used up several Maybelline Femi concealers, and I think this one is my third, so I'm sorry it's dirty because I did use it today, but this is an amazing under eye concealer. If you don't have major under eye circles, I think it just gives a nice dewy, glowy finish. Not like greasy, but it just gives you a nice healthy look to your skin. This is in the shade Fair, and it has a doe foot applicator, as you can see right here. And it looks a little bit peachy on my skin because I do have more of a yellow undertone, but I blend it in to my skin and it looks really nice, especially under my eyes. So that's what that looks like. And if you blend it out, it has pretty decent coverage. It's not super, super full coverage, but it does cover redness and some blemishes. And of course, my under eye circles, which I don't really have major under eye circles. I think this is my third one, like I said, and I will continuously repurchase this. This is another repurchase. I still have technically my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Mine is dirty as you can see. I repurchased it this month so I've had that previous one from what was it April to early November so I'm very happy with how that lasted and this is I think six dollars at Ulta or other drugstores that sell Real Techniques and I'm very happy I have this. Lately I haven't been using it for foundation because I have a very medium coverage foundation right now so I use a brush for that and since it's dewy it doesn't make me look cakey and I love using this for blending out concealer like my Maybelline Femi concealer these two are the dream team and it just works beautifully it works great for foundation as well works for cream highlighter and it's just an awesome little tool I still have both the products from my no buy finale for May and I believe that finished on May 23rd so I still have my NYX Sunrise Blue eyeliner my sister had and it. she didn't really use it a whole lot so she just gave it to me and it's just a beautiful royal blue color right here I've used up a decent amount of it I'm not sure what it looked like full size because it's been a while but it's just a nice royal blue eyeliner and it has some shimmers in it it's super creamy and I really like it in my waterline because it does last a while and then I like it on my lower lash line as well. But I don't love it on my upper lash line. I do need to set it otherwise it will transfer onto my eyeshadow because I do have hooded eyes. So I think it's just because it is so creamy that it does that. But it does set fairly nicely but if you have hooded eyes I would probably just set it with another eyeshadow. I would like to try more of these eyeliners in the future. I'm really eyeing up the golden bronze one. That one just looks gorgeous. 
gorgeous and I think it would pair really nicely with my blue eyes but these are creamy eyeliners and they last fairly well but just be careful if you've hooded eyes if you put it up on your upper lash line not your lower lash line upper one and then the last product is my Maybelline Cherami Baby Lips and I'm trying to pan this in my Project Pan Roulette challenge and this is just a beautiful tinted lip balm it's easy and simple I'm wearing it today I've been wearing it a lot it's a great product when you're sick and you just want to look alive because it gives a nice tint to your lips so I should probably show you what it looks like it is just a nice red tinted lip balm but it gives you a nice pink tint to your lips where should I swatch this there you go so that's what it looks like it's not super pigmented but it's not like super super sheer it gives a nice color to your lips and it wears fairly nicely I mean of course it's gonna rub off if you eat something or drink something but I've gone through several of these in the past and I do love it I technically like I had one of these in my one update and that's why I said I like technically used it up but I think I like it fell in the trash at work so I didn't want to like you know pick it out of the trash and like use it so I got this one in May. My mom gave it to me because she picks them up for me every once in a while and it's just a nice color and I'm really happy I have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you do these product update videos or like haul it but how was it, stuff like that because they are some of my favorite videos to watch next to like Project Pan videos because it's really nice to see what products people are still using from hauls and I just really enjoy seeing these videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.